What is going on YouTube? My name is Instant Poison and today I am playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on Underpass. I just picked up Modern Warfare 1 actually the other day for the PS3 and I am loving it. For those of you who don't know, I've never played the game before and I am super excited to finally be getting some clips on that. So hopefully that's what my next video will be of. Also, this game goes a it, it's going to look a little bit weird. I actually can't sprint. I think right now I'm still capable of it, but my controller goes a little bit wonky on me and it breaks. Actually, I think right there I just realized that I, I couldn't sprint. I wasn't going anywhere fast. But my analog stick breaks on me and I couldn't find another controller. So basically I end up playing the rest of the game at about this speed. And it's, I'm not going to lie, it's insanely aggravating not being able to get where you want to go fast. But it also kind of helps. If you ever have the patience, I guess you could say, to try it out. I actually think I maybe played better because of it. I looked a little bit, I was a little bit more attentive. I had more time to think about stuff. So if you're patient, I highly recommend trying this. As for me, I'm going to go back to sprinting and get a new controller. But that's not what I'm going to talk about. Instead, I'm going to do what I guess you could consider a video response to my good friend Eisnarf's video that he just put up regarding the chaos theory. Basically, for those of you who don't know what it is, the chaos theory is the idea that if you traveled back in time and stepped on a butterfly, I do not know how I survived that RPG right there. That was incredible. If you went back in time and stepped on a butterfly, then that could potentially alter the entire outcome of the future. Everything that happened may have been reliant on that single butterfly, even as tiny as it seems, as minute of a, a specimen of a aspect of the world that may be, it has the potential to change everything. And it got me thinking about the decisions I make in my life, the decisions I make in school, with my family, with my friends, even Call of Duty for that matter, and how every little feature, every little aspect of it can affect everything. Also, it got me thinking, I've recently been reading this book. It was called A Stolen Life, and I'm just about to wrap it up, and it was written by a girl named J.C. Dugard. For those of you who do not know, J.C. Dugard was, I think this was in 1991, she was 11 years old, she was on her way to school when a car pulled up, and a man asked her for directions and kidnapped her. For the next 18 years, she lived in captivity of this man, and basically was sexually abused, was forced to have two separate children with him who are now in their teens, I believe, and was just recently found, discovered, saved, like rescued, any word you want to choose, in maybe 2008, 2009, just a couple years ago. She's now 30, 31 years old, and she was forced to live this life that she did not choose, that nothing ever would have happened if it wasn't for the one day that she was walking to school. And basically what happened was her mom had left early and she wasn't feeling well that day. She wasn't feeling up to going to school. She wanted to stay home. She didn't want to walk. None of those things. But she was afraid to ask her stepdad to stay home because he was the only one that she could get permission from. So instead of getting in an argument with her stepdad, she just manned up and she walked out the door and on her way to school. If it wasn't for that fear of her stepdad, if it wasn't for being afraid to ask that one simple question, every single part of her life would have changed. Every single feature would have changed. She would never have been kidnapped. She would never have had the children when she did. She wouldn't have been found. She wouldn't have wasted 18 years. She wouldn't have been damaged in any way. Well, I can't say that completely, but nothing, none of the events that had occurred would have been the same. And it just, it was something that's so amazing to me. If you guys, if you guys are into reading, if you like books, anything like that, I highly recommend this one. It was an amazing read. It was very inspirational, I guess you could say. It was very life-changing, even. But it was the type of thing where such a little decision, as simple as not walking to school, changed her entire life. And now it may seem like I just hyped all of this up to be kind of a negative thing, how little decisions can negatively influence us, but I'm not, I'm not looking at it that way. I'm looking at the positive, so try to bear with me here. I basically got to the idea that everything that we stress over in society, the big things, the money, relationships, jobs, school, any of those problems that seem so huge to us are so important we stress so much on, obviously those have importance. But how often do we think about the little things? How often do we think about, you know, hugging our family? How often do we think about giving flowers to our to our girlfriends, to our boyfriend? Well, I don't I don't know if you give flowers to your boyfriends, but you know what I mean. How often do we consider giving a compliment, holding a door, anything like that? Something that could incredibly change every single aspect of our lives. And it got me to thinking just how important everything we do is. How that you should never slack, you should never give up on something, you should never have a, a bad attitude about anything. Because any little thing that you do could change your life 
forever. You have no idea. There's no way to monitor it. There's no way to check it. Anything like that. And I basically got to the point of live every day to its fullest. Live without regrets. Live happy and never let anything bring you down because you never know the littlest decision you can make, the littlest bad attitude, the littlest off day that you have could affect everything. And also to bring it back to my nerdy little Call of Duty self, it also got me motivated with the videos. I haven't been putting up videos a lot recently and that's, I know depressing you guys and hearing the feedback, I know I feel terrible about it. And it's something that could change everything for the future. So I'm going to get out of this slump. I'm going to start making videos every other day at least, if not every day, hopefully, as long as I can get the gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it meant something to you because I know it did to me. And I will catch you all next time.